The greatest thing about Central Watch is that we're in Grand Central Terminal. The worst thing about my store is people have a tough time finding us. When you're standing in front of track 38, right to the left of it is the 45th Street passageway. You will find Central Watch 100 feet down the corridor, built into the wall on the left-hand side. The business was founded by my grandfather, Max Cavell, as a repair shop. My grandfather was really a master craftsman, a master watchmaker. I started working for my dad in 1991. I saw how things were changing and how the industry was changing and bringing more mechanical pieces in. So that's when I said, look, let's really turn our focus into just repairs. We'll carry brands, we'll sell watches, but let's do what we do best. About two years ago, we opened up a separate workshop from the store. It was amazing what we did in that hole in the wall all of these years. And that's a place that should live forever as Central Watch. But a workshop was a mandatory thing for us. There are some days that we take in over 200 watches. A lot of them are battery related and smaller jobs. A good number of them end up being full service, partial services for crystals, hands falling off, bracelet breaking, sizing your watch. And when you do come here, and I do fix your old IWC or your old Paddock or your old Rolex, I have some of the most unique material for some of the most popular brands nowadays that we could accomplish things where you don't have to send it overseas. Hoy is one of the brands we really specialize in. The early Hoyers from the 50s, 60s, 70s. I ended up obtaining a lot of original material in its original containers. I pretty much have every last hand, wheel, screw that need to go into these watches. We're very, very good at listening. When somebody tells me, do not refinish, do not replace crystal, return all old parts to customer, whatever they may want, that's something that we're very, very strict with. My biggest excitement is possibly expanding our repair shop, even though it's very new. It's also very full now, and we do need more space, we do want more space, and I really see a very large shop with 10 to 15 benches. When you come here, you can bring your Hoyer, you can bring your Breguet, you can bring your Timex, you can bring whatever you want, and everything's going to be handled at a very, very high level. When I get the question of people come to the counter and saying, are you capable of putting a battery in my watch? Are you capable of handling this brand? Hopefully they'll understand that we do things at the level that the best watch company in the world is doing. We're doing it right here in Midtown Manhattan.